Place the frontal electrodes on the forehead first and then gently pull the cap back and over the head. Fasten the cap using the chin strap. Try to position the cap so that the electrodes fall over the proper positions. Check that the fabric is smooth and not wrinkled. Check that the cap is applied symmetrically with the midline electrodes over the nasian inion line and that the cap is properly centered. Take the point halfway between the nasian and inion and the point halfway between the two preauricular points. The vertex electrode, CZ, is positioned where these two points meet. The frontal electrodes FP1, FPZ, and FP2 should be positioned at 10% of the nasian inion distance above the nasian point. Plug each of the labeled cap connectors into its corresponding amplifier port. The cap connectors are compatible with EEG systems from a variety of clinical and research EEG manufacturers. ANT offers a range of adapters for connection to third-party EEG devices. Apply gel using a dedicated syringe. Blunt needles allow for easy insertion of gel through the hole at the top of each electrode. Fill the syringe with gel and inject a small amount through the hole in each electrode. Apply the gel with a circular hand movement. Continue the flow of gel as the needle is withdrawn to ensure that the electrode cup is fully filled. Take care not to apply too much pressure to the scalp while injecting gel, especially at the temples and mastoids where the skin is sensitive. Verify that there isn't too much drift or noise on any of the channels, as these may be symptoms of high impedance. Acceptable electrode impedance levels are dependent upon the quality of your EEG amplifier. It may be helpful to switch between the impedance check mode of your EEG system and the signal display mode while confirming that the connection is satisfactory. As a simple test of quality, you can ask the patient to open and close their eyes and to move their hand.